Okay, I'm going to be ready to start the actual glass installation in just a little bit. I just wanted to show you guys uh, what the glass looks like when it comes uh, in from Lincoln. Uh, it'll be packaged to where you just snap the uh, tie wraps that are around it, or shipping straps, I should say. And notice how they uh, provide uh, additional... Uh, glazing beads if you want to use the new ones but um, I don't know if you can see but notice the end of that is not already angled like the original one so that is um, one of the other reasons I like using the other ones because they're already pre-cut all I have to do is is use them as is uh, since I made the first video or the uh, first part of the video uh, I have taken the sash and I have painted the wood part, which you see right here. The other side, which is the metal part, um, has also been painted. So, and I've actually put a little bit of carpenter's glue on the one corner that showed a little bit of weathering, but it actually looked a lot better uh, up under the little uh, holder that holds it in place in the a sash with the spring it actually looked a lot better and I've also cleaned them up and, and painted those so maybe I can show those a little bit later but I just wanted to show you what the glass looks like in the packaging I'm gonna uh, get the glass out of the package and get the sash ready to put the glass in and then we'll start the video back again okay so as you can see uh, I went ahead and, and cut the packing strips and got most of the cardboard off. I left one of the protective pieces of plastic on there so you can see me pull that off. I'm going to go ahead and show you. Glass protective plastic on either side. I had already flipped it over and taken the one side off. I just wanted you to be able to see that. Also noticed that the glass has a watermark on it that has the Lincoln Ale on it. Um, I always, you want to pay attention to that and the orientation of your sash so that your watermarks will always be the same when you replace them. I have been doing it to where, as you can see, this is the a top sash and this is where the thing would go. And so I've got it oriented like it would be in the window except the outside. So I normally put it where the the watermark is in this corner so then when it's actually in the window it's on the outer corner some people might prefer it to be on the inner corner and you can put it, put it where the watermark is this way that's just my preference I've been doing it that way and I'm trying to keep consistent uh, as I'm doing them all so we're at the point now where I use um, and, and, and Lincoln recommends using 100% silicone caulk and so I use the, the GE and I don't know if you guys know this but unlike the latex caulk when you buy um, silicone caulk it does here I'll flip it around so you can see it it actually has a use by date on it so if you buy this ahead of time and you um, have it like I did once before, um, you don't want to keep it for over that date because indeed it, it you can tell the consistency is different and it doesn't want to set up well. So if you're using 100% silicone caulk, use it by that use by date. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to caulk the, around the fork inside and then I'm going to put the glass in. One thing I've learned over time is you want to caulk it and then I take my finger and I spread it to where it's a thin layer. If I just leave the bead and put the glass in, which I've done in the past, that'll technically work, but when you put the glass in, a lot of that silicone is going to ooze out on the other side. And then you're going to have to wait for it to dry and use a razor blade to cut that off. And you still might need to do a little bit of that, but I've kind of got that down to where I know now if I go around it and I spread that um, silicone out where it's a thin layer so it's acting as a good adhesive, then um, 
it doesn't take as much as you think and you don't make a mess if you go ahead and do that. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm putting down the bead. And if you get a little bit much in the corner, well, that's not too big of a deal there. But um, like I say, we'll spread that out. Okay, and, um, and silicone's not like latex caulking, it's not water-based, as I'm sure you know, and so that's why I keep a whole roll of paper towels out here, because silicone caulking, though it's wonderful stuff, once it's set up, it's very painful to, um, to actually deal with, because of the cleanup. So as you can see, as I'm going around there, I'm spreading it out to where I've got a nice thin layer without any access. And I do actually try to keep it right toward the ed front edge. As I'm going around, I do want some along the front edge because if you don't, it, it doesn't look good. And then you have to go back and touch up um, with some caulking that, that way. So as you can see, I'm... Um, Spreading it out, making a mess on my fingers. One more side to go here. And then once I got the flat bead like I've got now, and silicone caulking uh, kind of gets tacky relatively quickly, so I don't, I don't like to spend uh, too much time uh, monkeying with it. Just try to make sure I got a thin, a good thin layer, and then where I pressed it out toward the front, I kind of go back and, and make sure that I wipe off any access there. point being so I don't have as much cleanup to do later on that side. Okay, so I've got the, the caulking ready. So what I do now is pick up the glass. And like I said, these, these corners are sharp. But I've, but I've never cut myself deep, but you can cut yourself. But just be, be aware if you, if you do, and normally when you're doing that part that's where you can end up kind of cutting yourself on the sharp edges and I try to position it where while I'm at it, right at this point, I try to position the glass where there's an even amount of space all the way around, right from the get-go, and that helps with putting the, the, the actual glazing bead, the, this is what they call the glazing bead, uh, back in. get my caulking and like I say in no way would I rely on this little rubber part to seal even on the new we'll look at that in a little bit uh, would not trust that either so I'm going around the edge of the glass and I'm going right as long as you stay back where the and I put a little bit of extra in the corner This is where you got to be more careful that you don't forget that the glass is in there. One time I forgot and actually <laughs> stepped right on the glass. It was a smaller glass and I guess because of the support around it and it not being as big, 
and luckily I realized that right before I put all my weight on it, I was able to kind of get off of it before it actually broke the glass. It was a miracle I didn't break the glass. But notice I'm, I'm putting enough on there so I make sure that it'll get up under that that it'll get up under the, the glazing bead. And actually, I don't need to do them all at one time on this. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead, I'm gonna put this one in first. And, and there's a feel to it that you can feel it going in that area, that little wood area down at the bottom you can kind of feel it and you can also slide the glass a little bit to, to help that sometimes it doesn't want to go the way you think it's going to go get it seated So, and since I got this in here, and I got a good bit of space, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hand and slide the glass down a little bit to try to fill in some of that space. It seems like when they do these replacement glasses, there's a little bit of variance in the glass. And you always want to, when you're put, starting a corner, kind of want to push push back so that it'll once you get this corner started then the other corner should fit in there okay see notice that that one is not down far enough so that's not going to make me happy. So you got to raise it back, back out. I'm going to put my knee down here and I push to get the, to get it in place. And that is about as good as it gets right there. And while you're doing it, I go ahead and, and use a bunch of paper towels and I push back this way I'm wiping it off but I'm wiping it back toward the the bead as I'm doing it when I get done I'll wipe over it with a little bit of alcohol to get because that's the alcohol will um, will clean up the, um, the alcohol the, um, the, the silicone caulking and also I use a one of the scrapers if the if the bead if the two uh, corners don't have enough room you can kind of play with that a little bit to get that a little bit better so I think that's about as good as that's gonna get right now so I'm just gonna and notice how I'm pressing down so that the beat, so that the caulking that I put up under there will actually be sealing. And that's what's actually giving me my good seal between the window and the glazing bead. And notice how uh, there's always a there's always a gap, bigger gap than there was originally. And you, and that's where indeed using the white uh, silicone caulking is very helpful to go back in and um, and fill in that gap. Like I say, I normally pump a little bit more in the corner.
flower. I'm moving this around so that the, the weight of the glass itself I can get on either side too and help cushion the weight that I need to get more clearance for the bead on the side that I need it. So I actually went down and over. Now I'm going to, and like I said, I, I always push, I use paper towel because that's sharp. I'm going to push it down in the corner. three sides done and like I said notice how I'm going back and wipe while I'm at it wiping off the caulking so I just I'm just trying to save myself cleanup work as I go and this uh, Krylon paint which um, I sprayed it first I probably in all let it dry about 30 minutes or so um, before I flipped it over to paint the other side and that was enough time where it didn't give me any problems so I'm going to slide this around just for the video if it wasn't video in it I would move myself around okay. like I said I'm cleaning up some of this Hawking that's on the glass while I'm at it, because the wetter it is, the easier it wipes off, so it doesn't dry and cause me a problem. Okay, so I'm down to the last side here. Notice how this silicone caulking is just it's very, very messy. So as soon as I get the, you know, as I have the chance, as soon as I get a chance, I try to wipe it off the glass because it's much easier to do that while it's, while it's wet. So there I have like all four sides in. Um, I'm gonna pause the video for a second. And I need to go get a little knife um, to get these corners a little bit uh, locked in there the way I want to. And I'll show you that in just a second. So go ahead and pause that. Back up, I went and got a little paring knife. And what I do is I get here in this corner 
and you can kind of pry between the two corners and get it where they're even, where one's not overlapping the other. I'm going to push down on both, both of the corners and make sure they're in. Good. See like this corner here, that the one's on top of the other. So I'll take my paring knife to get them even. And then I push down on each, each one. I've had, had some where even though they use the same pieces that come out, they just do not want to uh, do exactly right. Like right now, this right here, they're wanting to overlap, but you got to be careful. You can't be prying around too much because you don't want to crack your glass. And so sometimes if, if indeed I, I continue to have problems, I'll just uh, raise that corner out a little bit and just take uh, some good scissors that'll cut because that, that plastic will cut really good and cut off just a corner like you just saw me do just the tiniest little bit and it doesn't matter if it's off a little bit because you're going to caulk that we're going to go back and we're going to caulk it and so once we caulk it it'll all be good you won't even you won't be able to see anything Still don't like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this back out because you do you don't want them bowing on each other too much so I'm going to raise this on that a little bit where I can get to it and take the scissors here and I'm just, notice I have to raise it up a little bit more so I'm going to get it from the angle and basically I'm just cutting off just a tiny tiniest little sliver still at the same angle and then when I get it back in there and then press them down and pry them where they're against each other there's not so much force and it still looks just like it did or like it was when the you know when it was originally good and as you can see silicone caulking is the most aggravating thing about working with this. So now I've got these two sides in and I need to look at the other corners. And you can see this here is pressing down a little bit right here on this this one. I don't like that either. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did on the other one. I'm going to raise this out a little bit. I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to cut just the tiniest little bit off of that edge. So then whenever they're back in there, they'll they'll lay next to each other and won't do that just a little bit more. See now they're back in there and they're laying nice and pretty and not forcing onto each other. And some of them from the factory, like that one there, see how that's flexed up a little bit? That was the way it was in there on the factory. So I think I like what I see now as far as the four corners and the glass, or the, I should say the glazing bead is in there the way it should be. But notice there's a gap. And of course that's not acceptable. And it wouldn't matter if you use the new glazing bead or or other glazing bead. Um, it's just there's a, a variance in the in the glasses when they send them back to you as far as exactly how they fit. And they couldn't get them too close to the edge because then you'd never get the glazing bead back in there. So I understand it, but you end up with that. And, and if that was your end result, that is not going to last very long as far as once you put it back in your window. So here's what I do. Is I take my, um, my silicone caulking and you just 
run a bead. And what I'm trying to do is as I'm going, I'm trying to keep it right in that crack so that silicone will actually fill in that crack. Of course, it ain't, it's not going to fill in all the way down. But I do want a good bead in there. And then once I get that bead in there, I just come along and wipe it off in such a way as so I don't take my get my finger down in, you know, if I put my finger down in there, of course I would wipe it all out. And that one it wouldn't look good, nor would it be accomplishing what I want. So I'm running right down there close to it without getting on top of it. And then I do the same thing on the glazing bead side. And then as you can see where it's not, not perfect, I am going to go across the top of it, but I'm not pressing down. I'm just wanting it level so it'll, it'll get that edge off and see that leaves a nice, nice finish. And of course, as you're letting your caulking sit there, you want to let the pressure off. You won't make a mess like I just did. So now I'm going to go to the next side and do the same thing. And I'm going to go around and end up doing all four sides like I just showed you the one side. And once I get that done, I'll take uh, some of my alcohol, which I'm just about out, and I'm going to put a little bit on one of these rags and I'm going to wipe off the glass so I can get this caulking off before it actually dries. And then after that, I'm going to let it sit there for, I think, I think they say it takes a good while for it to cure. It's supposed to be rain ready in like three hours. I try to let it sit at least a couple hours before I put it back in the window. Um, I think that's it for the moment. So I'm going to um, pause the video and I'll probably show you me putting the, um, the little knobs that stick out on each side that the spring catches on. And I'll show you that and that'll be the end of the video. Okay, here's the last little bit I'm going to show y'all and we'll be done with this uh, window replacement. Uh, I think I showed you earlier the little tabs that go on the window that uh, are used with the spring, the spring loaded part. I took my Dremel tool with a little um, wire brush and cleaned those off and I sprayed them. A lot of times uh, at the start of the process, I'll since these are metal and I really want them to be uh, protected. I, I'll actually use Rust-Oleum paint on these, but since this the Krylon paint that I used this time actually said it was uh, rust control, I went ahead and used the same same paint uh, for those. And whenever I put the screws back in, they the original screws weren't stainless, so I go back in with stainless screws that are a half inch longer than the originals, so that they can um, actually uh, grab in because sometimes they're a little bit, if the corners decay a little bit, it won't grab as good. So I've got to where I go ahead and replace these with stainless that are a little bit longer and I, I fix these. And as you can see, the uh, window is just sitting here. I'm letting the, uh, the caulking cure. I'm gonna let it do it for another hour and then I'm gonna put it back in. So as you can see, the process is very doable, but uh, it actually can take a, a, a while to finish. You might want to say, well, I, you know, I'm not going to go through all this, this hassle. I'm just going to pay somebody. And indeed you can. Uh, I think whenever I checked one time, it was going to be, and this was years ago, like $125. So I don't know how much it would be now. The thing is, they're going to come out get the glass out as quickly as possible, put the new glass in, and then and then go. They're not going to take the time to, like I said, I've re revamped the, the sash by painting it, uh, making sure that the, the corners, if there's any decay, that I, I take care of that, and that I redo the little studs here and put in new screws. So um, you'll have to decide whether or not it's, you want to spend the time to do this 
but I've done now probably 12 glasses in my um, my house at least and so far all of them are, are holding up good so uh, anyway I thought that might be helpful for anyone else who has uh, Lincoln glasses and needs to do this uh, and I'm sorry I wish I could tell you that Lincoln had sashes that you could buy which I would probably do the same thing uh, I know it would be more but it, it indeed would be a whole lot better but they don't and it's probably a reason I probably would never buy Lincoln again but nonetheless uh, I hope this was helpful for you guys and that's the end of this video